And welcome to the APG Federal Credit Union Arena at Harford Community College. In case of emergency, please follow the instructions of safety personnel and arena staff. And please take a moment to note the location of emergency exits. For your safety, please find a seat and keep the concourse and aisles clear. Thank you for joining us today, and congratulations to the class of 2023. Please take a moment to silence all electronic devices.
236. All, all the two. How's that? Okay. All they sent me the two. Okay. Well.
Good afternoon. I'd like to welcome you all to the APG Federal Credit Union Arena at Hartford Community College for this very special occasion. We ask that the graduates remain standing through the Pledge of Allegiance. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please join the graduates if you are not already standing for the national anthem performed by senior choral members Juliana Giliatos and Lillian Pasquinelli. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets rippled the bombs bursting in air came through Thank you. Please remain standing as our valedictorian for the class of 2023, Bryce Brown, will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Bryce. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Bryce. You may be seated. So good afternoon. My name is Joseph Collins, and I am the very, very proud principal of Falson High School. On behalf of the administration, faculty, and staff, we are honored to have you as guests at this Falson High School commencement for the class of 2023. We have a couple of requests and a bit of information before we get started. First, if you're taking photographs, please remain in your seats. Life Touch is here, they do an amazing job, and we will have pictures available for each graduate. An email will be sent home to you after the ceremony. Second, please do your best to refrain from applause or noise during the distribution of diplomas so that every graduate's name can be heard by their family. After, graduations, the grad, after graduation, the graduates will proceed out of the arena. You will be able to meet them, but it will be outside. We need to clear the arena, the parking lot, and the surrounding areas for Bel Air's graduation this evening. I would like to thank the administration and staff of Hartford Community College for always sharing their facilities with us and being such gracious hosts. Finally, I would ask that everyone please silence or turn off your cell phones at this time. <laughs> Thank you. It is now my, uh, my pleasure to introduce to you the special guests at our commencement today. Please hold your applause until everyone's name has been read. From the Board of Education of Harford County, Board Vice President Mr. Wade Sewell, and Board Member Ms. Patrice Riccardi. Representing the Office of Maryland State Senator Jason Gallion, Mr. Jacob Taylor. Representing the Maryland House of Delegates, Delegate Michael Griffith. For Har from Harford County, Harford County Executive, the Honorable Mr. Robert Cassidy. 
From the Hartford County Council, County Council President, Mr. Patrick Vincenti, and Councilman, Mr. Aaron Penman. From Hartford County Public Schools Senior Staff, Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Sean Bolson, and Chief of Administration, Dr. Eric Davis. General Counsel of Harford County Public Schools, Ms. Kimberly Neal. The Assistant Superintendent for Human Resources, Mr. Benjamin Richardson. The Assistant Superintendent for Operations, Mr. Cornell Brown, Jr. The Executive Director of Secondary School Instruction and Performance, Mr. Mike O'Brien. Director of Curriculum Instruction and Assessment, Mr. Andrew Renzulli. The Director of Secondary School Instruction and Performance, Mr. Collins Carr, Mr. Colin Carr, and Dr. May Alfrey, Director of Senior Staff and Labor Relations. From our feeder schools, the Principal of Falson Middle School, Mr. James Johnson, Mr. Tom Smith from Youth Benefit Elementary School, Ms. Blaine Hawley from Red Pump Elementary School, and Ms. Victoria Guido from Forest Lakes Elementary School. Our interpreters for this morning, or this evening are Ms. Bethany Castile and Ms. Cynthia Baldwin. I would personally like to extend thanks at this time to our assistant principals, Mr. Adam Milanowski and Emily Snow, counselors, Mr. Robert Costante, Ms. Jessica Piazza, Ms. Amber Pomlis, Falston Administrative Assistant Ex Extraordinary, Ms. Beth Griffin, and Ms. Shelley Smith Humphrey, for their invaluable assistance in preparing for this graduation. As I shared all week, I'm just here doing my job. They made this happen, so thank you very much. I'm also very now uh, pleased to introduce and thank our senior class advisor, who just worked tirelessly to ensure the senior's final year at Falston was a very special experience, Ms. Jacqueline Cummings. Yes. I would now like to take a moment to recognize the group of people who, along with all of you, really made this day possible. That is the staff of Falston High School. I ask that those on the floor and those up on the concourse please stand to be recognized at this time. Thank you for all of your hard work and your dedication to our students. Please stand. Personally, I'd like to thank the whole Falston School community for their continued support and hard work on behalf of our students. Falston, as many of you know, is in my teaching DNA as I spent eight years here as an educator that shaped me as that educator, but also was a big part of shaping me into the person that I am today. Class of 2023, it's been a pleasure. And I am so excited to see where you go from here. Please stay in touch. Come back and visit us and let us know how you're doing. We will now begin the ceremony today with a greeting to the class of 2023 from several Harford County dignitaries. Please you turn your attention to the screen behind me. Welcome, class of 2023 graduates, families, and friends. Today's ceremony marks one of the most memorable moments of your lives because it symbolizes several paired and perhaps even conflicting concepts, an end and a beginning, the known and the new, the pride and satisfaction of the accomplishment and the excitement and uncertainty about these last steps, the ones that will take you away from the familiar and move you toward the unknown. Before taking these final steps, it is important to pause briefly, reflect on the significance of the moment, and consider how this journey has been and still is moving you toward the person you are going to be. Think about how the academic experiences that led you here today have successfully prepared you for the unknown, especially since your time in high school has been intricately tied to vast social issues, economic challenges, and health and wellness concerns that make your experiences unique. As graduates, you will leave with not only content knowledge and various skill sets, but also with the well-developed traits of resourcefulness, resilience, self-reliance, and resolve, all of which will help you reach your future goals. As freshmen, 
When your in-person academic year was cut short, you learned to be resourceful. You developed the ability to identify available resources, determine how to use them to your advantage, and create effective plans that allow you to move forward. And although developing this characteristic was supported by family and friends, it still fell to you to learn it, to demonstrate it, and to utilize it. This resourcefulness served you well during your sophomore year. It fostered resilience, a vital trait to possess during both virtual learning and as we returned to in-person school. You learned how to navigate challenging circumstances, and you learned that you can overcome, that you can achieve, and that you can excel in uncertain and difficult situations. Maya Angelou, author and poet laureate, said that, I can be changed by what happened to me, but I refuse to be reduced by it. Your resiliency exemplifies this sentiment, and it showcases your strength and ability to persevere. Out of this resiliency emerged a stronger sense of self-reliance, a valuable trait that you turned to as juniors when you had to apply and adapt everything that you had learned about working independently to collaborative and interactive environments. As your teachers gave you opportunities to reconnect in the classroom, you took on the challenge. You relied on yourselves to listen, reconsider, and sometimes compromise with others who had developed their own ways of doing things. And you found the confidence in yourselves to learn, problem solve, and move forward together. Finally, in your senior year, you combined all of your resourcefulness, resiliency, and self-reliance into intense resolve, a determination to build and create futures for yourselves, your families, and your communities. You sought out experiences and opportunities to learn more, develop skills, and serve others. Some of you took college classes or tackled other challenging coursework. Some of you took on jobs or internships. Some of you organized events, spoke out for causes, or advocated for others. But no matter what it looked like for you, your resolve gave you purpose, helped you form new relationships, and offered a glimpse of the good that lies ahead. In a few moments, once you've walked across the stage and toward your individual futures, remember that you have what you need for tomorrow. What will you do with this knowledge and these characteristics? That is solely up to you. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, the only person you're destined to become is the person you decide to be. With that in mind, know that the unique sum of your experiences had made each one of you remarkable. And as remarkable individuals, you are ready to walk across that stage toward the future and the person that you decide to be. Congratulations, class of 2023. I would like to personally express my appreciation to everyone whose efforts went into creating that great video message for our seniors. Our graduation addresses will be presented by three graduating seniors whose speeches were chosen from among several who submitted them for this occasion. I'm delighted to present to you the first of these speakers, Macy Budke. Yes, senior choral members, please head up. For many years, we have been faced with the question, what do you want to be when you grow up? It's a stressful question that always seemed so far in the future. But here we are at our high school graduation. 13 years ago, 246 of us walked through the same elementary doors for the first time, oblivious to the fact that the people sitting beside us on the rainbow carpet would be with us for the long road ahead. Today, we are seated beside those same people we once sat with during circle time. I remember being proposed the question, what do you want to be when you grow up, on the first day of kindergarten at that same carpet with the same people. Going around the classroom, our teacher was bombarded with fantasies of saving the world or one day meeting Prince Charming. While those aspirations may still be in some of our futures, these dreams are simply unrealistic. 
Our elementary years were spent fantasizing what it would be like to finally grow up. We wanted to be just like the big kids when we grow up, with the freedom of driving our own cars, attending school dances, getting involved with clubs and varsity sports. We spent our days longing for the next big thing. Well, Falston, here we are at our graduation. We grew up. Our graduation class conquered great challenges and astounding accomplishments. All while growing up these last four years, we have won a total of seven state championships, attended pep rallies and school dances, put on eight productions, started new clubs, and finished with a total of 178 students graduating as Maryland Scholars. We have built the strongest friendships and the greatest memories with each other. Remember that time Mr. Collins got pied in the face? That time we danced as a class to a sold out auditorium at the variety show? Or that time the Grants danced in those fashionable tracksuits? We'll look back at these memories one day and think to ourselves, wow, those were some of the best years of my life, just as people wiser had once said to us. It is our senior year and we are still being faced with the same question. What do you want to be when you grow up? As we have grown up, our ambitious dreams have shifted to realistic decisions and will eventually lead to a fulfilling career. While our answer might not be definite just yet, we know our next steps, whether it be entering the workforce, mastering a trade, serving the country, or continuing our education. We grow closer to answering this pivotal question each day. However, our answer shouldn't be simple. It shouldn't just be a profession. We can answer who we want to be rather than what. When we grow up, we will represent the Falston community. We will take what we have learned from our relationships at Falston and apply it to relationships in our future. We will continue to be the hardworking, ambitious, curious students our teachers have taught us to be. When we grow up, we will look back at these four years and still be proud to be a Falston Cougar. This journey would not have been possible without our most supportive parents, teachers, administrators, coaches, and staff. They've seen us win and lose, fail, and learn from our failures. They've been there beside us the whole time watching us grow up. They have not only taught us the curriculum, but have mentored us through our toughest challenges. They will watch us walk across the stage today with great confidence that we are prepared for any of life's future battles. On behalf of the class of 2023, we thank you for getting us here today. Class of 2023, who do you want to be when you grow up? You still might be hanging on to those fairy tale fictions you've dreamed of since 2010, but your future is in your own hands now. It is up to you to make your younger self proud of the person you are today. Did you or will you fulfill your own fantasies? We have grown up and we will continue to grow up. Class of 2023, we are finally the big kids we always wanted to be. Congratulations for making it here today and I cannot wait to see your future accomplishments. We will now hear two choral selections presented by the Falson High School Chorus under the direction of choral director, Ms. Katie Stout.
Thank you so much, Ms. Stout and the chorus, and thank you, Ms. Bradenbaugh and the concert band. It's nice to have live music at these events again. Thank you. Round of applause for them again, please. Our next address will be presented by Senior Jake Seamson. Dwight Trude once said, people underestimate the power of nostalgia. Nostalgia is truly one of the greatest human weaknesses, second only to the neck. Today we feel nostalgia as we prepare to leave high school behind and begin our future. But despite what Dwight, Dwight Trude says, I do not think nostalgia is a weakness. Nostalgia is defined as a wistful affection for the past. Feeling nostalgic means we enjoyed our journey of high school and made tons of memories along the way. Feeling nostalgic means we achieved our goal of graduating. Feeling nostalgic is not a weakness, but a sign of accomplishment. Every graduate here today should feel nostalgic because every graduate here has accomplished something amazing. I'm very happy to be graduating with so many amazing individuals. Our class is attending 66 different colleges, pursuing 14 different trades, and serving in three branches of the military. Whether you know exactly what you're gonna do, or like Michael Scott said, I know exactly what to do, but in a much more real sense, I have no idea what to do. I know that we will all do great in the future. The last episode of The Office was aired in 2013. In that episode, Andy Bernard says the famous quote, I wish there was a way to know you were in the good old days before you've actually left them. In 2013, I was in third grade. I had a buzz cut. Jack Price and I rode our bikes to school every day, and I wore neon all the time. I had no idea what was ahead of me. Three years later, I stepped into Folsom Middle School for the first time. I rode the bus to school every day with the kids from my neighborhood. I played lacrosse at the rec for FLC, and my friends and I went to Youth Center every Friday. Now, seven years later, I'm graduating with the kids I made those memories with, and I wish I could go back. Dwight reminds us that we don't actually live once. We live every day. So I encourage all of you to use every day to make memories. Live in the moment, because once that moment passes, it becomes the good old days, and you might not even realize it. For many of us, Falston High School has become a second home, and leaving home can be bittersweet. Falston is where I made some of the best friends I've ever had, where I found interests and hobbies that I now love, and I established strong relationships with many teachers like Ms. Cummings, administrators like Mr. Milanowski, and the custodians like Ms. Val and Ms. Ruth. Leaving Falston will be tough as we encounter new environments, people, and experiences. But I encourage you to be as confident as Dwight, as creative as Jim, as enthusiastic as Andy, and always remember to have fun like Michael. As we prepare to get our diplomas and embark on a new journey, I would like us all to remember the words from Creed Bratton. No matter how you get there or where you end up, human beings have this miraculous gift of making that place home. Thank you. And our last student speaker, Emily Athan. Good afternoon, parents, grandparents, teachers, and graduates. I want to congratulate all of my classmates on the wonderful achievement it is to be where we are now. It is an honor to be surrounded by each of you now as graduates of the Falston High School class of 2023. In the time that we've been in high school, a lot sure has changed, but I'm not here to talk about the news or the weather or even about your glow up since middle school, no matter how great it was. Today, I want to call attention to our breath, one thing that has remained constant through it all. Given you and I take about 16 breaths per minute, we breathe an average of 960 breaths per hour. That adds up pretty quickly to just short of 24,000 breaths a day, which leads to an estimated grand total of 33,638,400 breaths taken over a short four years of high school. And as I recall Ms. Saxon taught us, 
Breath is one of the few fascinating systems within our bodies that goes on without us even noticing. In fact, the very moment you take notice of your breath, it changes. See, I bet right now you might have changed the pace of your breath just by paying attention to it. But think with me for just a moment of all the breaths that we have shared together. We breathed in awe at the first sight of the Falston Halls as we wandered through the cheese grater walls for the first time. We focused our breaths before high-stakes sports games, performances, and tests. We panted out breath during the dog days of gym class with Squatty and laughed at Mr. White's dad jokes together. On Wednesdays, we inhaled the smell of happiness, or what some call orange chicken, in the lunchroom. And at every football game, we held our breath in anticipation of the Cougars' next play. We took in the smell of fresh paint, which announced the arrival of Mr. Collins, and each day we exhaled words of friendship and kindness shared with one another at school desks and lunch tables. Our breath quickened with excitement most recently at the sight of college acceptance letters, and we let out one collective sigh of relief at the sound of the final bell of the year. It's almost as if we've been holding our breath for months, waiting for graduation to come. But now, we've taken in the last moments of the sweet time we call childhood. The sprint to the finish is over. Take a moment to catch your breath. Together, we look with anticipation towards the future. Isn't it breathtaking? There are endless opportunities to pursue and choices to make. But in the moment between your every inhale and exhale where your lungs rest, you are given a new choice. What will you do with this next breath? And the next? And the next? Don't let the air around you simply recycle through your lungs, but rather let it empower you to dream bigger, work harder, and achieve more. And though we are sustained by breath, aren't we just like it? Here one moment and gone the next. A favorite book of mine refers to our whole life as but a single breath. Standing here now, I can, I can say kindergarten feels only a few breaths behind us, and I can't help but wonder what lies just a few breaths ahead. The passing of each breath and every new day reminds us that we simply can't grab a hold of time with our own two fists, even if we tried our hardest. Yet even as time seems to slip away from us, breath unites us. Class of 2023, let us breathe deeply together in this moment of celebration, resting in the magnitude of our accomplishments and the unforgettable memories we have made together. As you walk down these stairs, diploma in hand, I encourage you to take one last exhale of high school and your very first inhale of what is to come. Breathe purposefully. You were created for more. Thank you, seniors. An incredible message by all three of you and a real tribute to the class of 2023. All right, guys, now this gets real. As chosen by the senior class, Ms. Jackie Cummings, senior class advisor, and Ms. Ashley Canatella, senior, uh, social studies department chair and SGA advisor, will read the names of candidates for graduation. Before that happens, though, I have to certify you. Mr. Sewell, Ms. Riccardi, I certify that these candidates have met the requirement of the Maryland State Department of Education and the Hartford County Board of Education for earning a high school diploma. <laughs> Row one, would you please stand? Jake Stephen Simpson, Hannah Francis Richard, Morgan Virginia Balesta, Mason Reed Shore, Aiden Robert Agello, Elizabeth Grace Agello. 
Carlos Gilberto Aldana Telez. Tucker Samuel Almengor. Alex Jordan Amrine. William Jackson Anderson. Morgan May Anthony. Emily Elizabeth Atha. Emily Rosemary Barr. Aiden David Valentine. Gianna Marie Barrett. Nathan Alexander Barron. Jacob Richard Bogus Kimes. Sydney Madeline Beard. Laquana Sky Hope Bogish. Kyle Joseph Buffard. Reagan Ariana Holden. Sophia Alexia Belubasis. Evan Isaiah Bradley Dozier. Trinity Marie Brenner. Cameron Dre Brew. Bryce Singleton Brown. Samaria Olivia Faye Bryant. Macy Elizabeth Budkey. Julia Lauren Burke. Jasmine Christine Burns. Medford John Campbell the Fourth. Cecilia E.B. Campbell. Mason Ryan Knapp. Taylor Elizabeth Cardin. Jabari James Carter. Michael Allen Carter Jr. Xavier Castillo. Alex Mason Chacona. Tyler Bernard Sigarski. Jacob Thomas Clark. McKenna Avery Clark. Blake Evelyn Clough. Samantha Madison Conrad. Allison Paige Curry. Riley Nicole DeVito. Sophia Mariana DiCarlo. Jaden Michael Dillard. Aiden Sebastian Dixon. Emily Dakota Dodson. Margaret Rose Donalds. Shalani Sela Dow. Adam Todd Edelin. Abigail Catherine Eubank. Zachary Taylor Evans. Atticus Ignatius Fagan. James William Ferrali. Zachary Ryan Farmer. McKay Cameron Fields. 
Emily Paige Fierro, Carly Marie Filbert, Tessa Jolie Finnamore, Nathan Duke Flanagan, Ty Thomas Armando Flores, Blake Carter Flynn, Jason Andrew Fox, Colin James Froberg, Logan Matthew Funkhauser, Aiden James Galloway, Sophia Singh Gao, Renee Marie Gent, Crystal Volantis Stilianos Giannis, Juliana Sophia Giliotas. Isabella Josephine Glorioso. Anna Elizabeth Nagy. Consuelo Gonzalez Bocanegra. Ann Lila Graff. Samara Caitlin Greer. Chloe Noel Hagee, Dominic Robert Hamlin, Randy Allen Hammerbacker Jr., Juliet Alita Hammond, John Michael Hartel III. Troy David Huff. Brianna Dasani Hayes. Jameson Jeffrey Hawk. Marina Lynn Hemrick. Liliana Rose Herbert. Antonio Edward Hernandez. David Andrew Hobson. Ryan Jacob Hoffmeister. VJ Mystery Hong. Arden Grace Howes. Lucas Carol Hurlbert. Sally Magnolia Hyman. Trevor Franklin Hyman. Amiria Renee Hypolite. Ab Abigail Noel Jester. Haley Elizabeth Johnson. Kelvin Larkins Jones the third. Noah Weston Jones. Ryan Vaughn Jones. Finley Hinson Jordan. Isabella Gabrielle Kale. Ashton Christopher Kateb. 
Finbar Seamus Carney. Isabel Lourdes Kaiser. Natalia Brooke Kensington. Jake Walker Keefe. Katherine Colleen King. Sarah Kate King. Peyton June Knoll. Jesse Michael Kobolars. Aiden Lee Cobb. Caleb Ernest Conkle. Bella Marie Cornick. Mackenzie Kate Coster. D Dylan Carter Cries. Benjamin Joseph Krippus. Zachary Nicholas Langhauser. Christian Elizabeth Lassner. Skyler Ann Lighty, Ethan Zane Light, Mason William Leonard, Sydney Claire Levesque, Desiree Taylor Little, Wayne Anthony Locklear. Marissa May Lord. Molly Kate Lorden. Austin Michael Loss. Malcolm Christopher Lovett. Cole Garrett Mons. Philip David Mahomenka. Gabrielle Steliana Manolis. Alario Loamai Patrick Marini. Evan Matthew Markowski. Sophia May Martin. Gregory Stephen Matthews, Jr. Brian Charles McCurdy. Thomas Scott McFalls. Quinn Michael McLaughlin. Caitlin Grace Michael. Maxwell Shane Mickle. Brody Dane Medall. Colin Michael Miller. Reagan Grace Miller. Kaylee Jane Mills.
Jake Michael Miltenberger. Abigail Lynn Mink. Hope Elizabeth G. Mitchell. Alexander Alexandrovich Mokiv. Cheyenne Sophia Montambo. Jacob Dylan Montoya. Amanda Lynn Myers. Logan Robert Myers. Caitlin Margaret Naylor. Ryder Matthew Knowles. Ava Lynn Grace Newbert. Emily Taylor O'Neill. Lacey Mackenzie Ogle. Zachary Asa Olsik. Catherine Farrell Page. Natalie Elizabeth Paisley. Lillian Rose Pasquinelli. Madison Elizabeth Passwater. Sage Xavier Pfeiffer. Sean Douglas Phillips. Christopher James Pagosi. Elizabeth Grace Pajoli. Eliza Savannah Pressgraves. Jack Michael Price. Gage Christopher Pruitt. McKenna Allison Robb. Ryan Christopher Reed. Nicole Elizabeth Renteria. Carson Luke Richards. Andrew Michael Ritchie. Olivia Lynn Rachel. Keith Michael Robinson. Braden McNulty Rock. Lee William Rogi. Kevin Braden Roth. Cameron Joe Rowan. Alexis Riley Rinaldo. Ethan Mateo Salsa. Lee Santana. Marissa Ann Sapp. Chloe Peyton Schlegel. Abigail Grace Schneider. Lauren Francesca Shonowski. David Lawrence Schuster, Jr. 
Tyler Jackson Schroeder. Alexandra Paige Shromsky. Bryn Elizabeth Sergi. Benjamin Griffin Sellers. Jessica Ann Seaman. Andrew Michael Sanker. Briley Robert Sexton. Smith Shaw. Dylan Alton Shepherd. Nathan Richmond Shemitis. Cole Joseph Showalter. Brady James Slater. Cole Denzel Smith. Ethan Wyatt Smith. Joshua Patrick Smith. Morgan Tamia Smith. Rebecca Autumn Snelling. Tyler Aston Sober. David Adam Spar. Dallas Lynn Spurl. Kaylin Michael Sturgis. Matthew Edward Styron. Benjamin Jeffrey Schwarzendruber. Natalie Kelly Tacone. Camden Shay Tangi. Caroline Teresa Taylor. Michael Daniel Taylor Jr. Valerie Sophia Thomas. Allison Michaela Thompson. Ellery Madison Thompson. Brianne Daly Thrift. Rachel Catherine Tilly. Jessica Funvi Tran. Lara Kim In Tran. Jack David Tressler the Third. Riley Stephen Vaughn. Georgia Naomi Watson. Catherine or Caitlin Renee Whitesell. Charles Edward White V. Logan Garrett White. Haley Madison Wiener. 
Corinne Elise Nicole Williams. Michael Ray Williams. Savannah Michelle Williams. Kyle Jacob Wolferman. Christian William Worthington. Ian Maxwell Wright. Leanne Marcella Yale. Drew Rowan Yelton. Gabrielle Alexis Zebron. Julia Sophia Zina. This audience needs to give themselves a round of applause. You guys were amazing. Thank you. So I'm going to take my principal's liberties just for a moment here to address the uh, seniors before we head out today. Uh, I'm going to share some wisdom with you, but luckily for you, all of you, it's not my wisdom. It's Wisdom from a graduate, or soon-to-be graduate, one of those sitting right here with you. Uh, we're going to say it's from the book of Job. So just for some background information for everybody here, this senior carries one of these boxes around on a regular basis. It says juice bags. That's weird. We'll say juice boxes. And he talks to people, say, hey, you want a juice bag? Because everybody likes a juice box. And he's not wrong. And I gave him a hard time about it until one morning, a very busy morning, he stopped in my office and said, hey, Collins, do you want to share a juice box? <laughs> and I finally gave in and said, sure, Jug, let's, let's have at it. I don't know, 20, 30 minutes later, he and I were done talking. And the wisdom from Jug, believe it or not, was to slow down and not forget this is about people. And that was the theme that you heard throughout this event. And we heard it yesterday at Senior Awards. Money, fame, fortune, all those things, happiness, no. Real, strong relationships with people. So the wisdom comes from one of you. Don't forget that. Some of you have made amazing friends here, some not so much. But you need to continue to look for those people. Find that tribe, and sometimes it's a tribal one. But you need to find those people, and you know, and you need to share that thank you with the people in this space. Some you got to choose, like teachers, and some you were born into. And my counsel would be, if you want to have great friends and great relationships, then you need to be a great friend. You need to be there when it counts. You need to call people and ask how they're doing. And when somebody that cares about you says, how are you doing? You need to have enough courage to tell them the truth and let them help if needed. So don't forget that Falson High School will be that place for you forever. It doesn't matter if you're gone and graduated. You come back. You let us know how you're doing. You let us help if we need to. So, Ms. Ryan, did you help me out? Jug? Well, it's so much easier when you're five. Oh, he's coming up.
and I raise a juice box to the class of 2023. You are amazing. Go live extraordinary lives. H, let's do this. No, there's no countdown, H. You let me handle this, all right? You, just, you're, you got the easy part right there. This is Hannah Richard, the proud Falstonian Award winner for the class of 2023. She's going to learn, lead the class in the turning of the tassels. So seniors, please rise. And this is a collective event. So ladies and gentlemen, Families, distinguished guests, I proudly present to you the Falson High School Class of 2023. Hannah, let it go.